You may have heard that harvesting young trees is a bad practice, and there's quite a range of rationale there. But here's an angle you may not have heard before. It pays to wait. Trees have value tiers, and larger trees are worth far more than smaller ones. Tier 1, unmerchantable timber, basically anything under 5 inches in diameter. This is essentially worthless firewood that costs more to harvest than it's worth, and should only be harvested for silvicultural purposes, like thinning. Tier 2, pulpwood, 5 to 10 inches that get chipped up for paper and particle board. Maybe 20 to 50 per ton if you're lucky and the market is good. But here's where it gets interesting. Tier 3, saw timber. Trees over 10 inches that can actually be milled into lumber. Same wood, but it's now worth $200 to $800 per thousand board feet. And tier 4, veneer quality. The holy grail of timber. Perfect large diameter trees that get sliced into thin sheets for high-end furniture and cabinets. We're talking $2,000 to $5,000 per thousand board feet, or even more. But here's the game changer most people miss. When your tree finally reaches saw timber or veneer size, it doesn't just add new valuable wood. Every single ring that the tree put on during its pulpwood years suddenly becomes worth 10 times more. That's why cutting trees too early can be really dumb. The patient landowner who lets their forest reach full maturity doesn't just get bigger trees, they get exponentially more valuable ones. And by extending the rotation ages in their forest, they're also creating a better age balance, which enables the resiliency and robustness of the forest overall. There aren't many absolutes in forestry, but it's hard to escape the conclusion that patience is good. If you want to learn more about forest management, get your free copy of How to Read Your Forest by following the links on my page.